Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of your favourite podcast, The Izzy and Alex Show. Today we've got an absolute belter of an episode. We're going to do sort of dilemmas slash would you rather. But first, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Spotify so you get a notification of when we upload. Before we get into the juice of would you rather, Izzy, how's your week been? Has it been manic? What's been going on, Bab? Yeah, I've been in I've been in work um every day this week, so I've definitely enjoyed a lion this morning. It was a busy one at, at morning live, but it's it's good fun. Okay. See, it started from the bottom of the Izzy Night like, Show, and now you're on morning live. Like honestly, <laughs> I'm not presenting it. I'm behind the scenes. No, but, but still, still, yeah, it's good. Oh, fun. <laughs> do you think you have to get up for that like five a.m. Like what the fuck? Yeah. Like what about you how's your week been well thank you for asking <laughs> no it's been um I'm actually I think we briefly mentioned it I'm not have we mentioned it yet I don't think we have um I'm gonna in five weeks time now quit my job and just go traveling in Southeast Asia for like six months so <laughs> I'm very scared so it's eight weeks until I go but five weeks until I quit my job so I'm just trying to get through it you know like sort out the handovers it's very stressful but we are getting there we are getting there I'm so excited but I'm a bit scared now like it's like oh my god it's real like there's no security blanket like it's completely out of like sort of my comfort zone yeah and you've been wanting to go for ages but obviously with COVID and everything it's like it's been a bit but I guess it's given you more time to prepare but you'll love it though you'll have an amazing time I'm sure I will, but yeah, it's very scary, very scary. But let's get into would you rather's. I'm actually so excited for this. Um, (laughs) This should be so, so good. I'll start off with like a chill one. And then I think as it will go on, it'll be very like, we've, there's a few crazy ones. So keep listening because we, as, as it says in the trailer, no topic will not, wait, what is it? Does it say in the trailer? No topic is off limits. That is really, and yeah, we stand by that. And we stand by that this episode. Yeah, I don't think we've done one like this. Before. We've done similar things before, but not like this. But I like it because it's going to like create discussion, and we get to just sit and chat about what we would do in certain situations. That I don't think we'd ever actually be in. <laughs> but, I hope not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. No, so let's start off with like an an easy ish one. Right. Um, would you be more offended if no one went to your wedding or if no one went to your funeral? Mm. This is a good one to be fair, because I guess a bit of you'd be quite offended for both. Funeral's a complicated one because like you are dead. But so be there. Yeah, you wouldn't be there. But if you, say if you knew, say if like the whole ghost shit is real and you'd be able to see, imagine just sitting there but like not seeing. But then I'd be more offended if loads of people turned up that I didn't know. I'd be like, you never spoke to me, why are you here? (laughs) And also I feel like though, so I was, I've been thinking about this one. If it's your wedding, it's not just you, it's somebody else. So they might turn, not turn up, because for a valid, say if they've cheated on them or something like that, they might not turn up for that. It's not necessarily you that they're not turning up for. Oh, so when you say no one turns up, you uh, mean the other half. Oh, I didn't think about that. that. I was more How saying you that, mean? like the other person. I was more saying that like, say if all your, like, say if like the congregation, so like your mum, your dad don't like the person you're marrying, and they've been trying to persuade you not to go, not like not to marry this person. They could not turn up as an act of like, we do not approve of this wedding. So it's not personally attack on you. It's an attack on you, like maybe the person you're marrying. Whereas if it's your funeral, it's sort of an attack on you if nobody turns up. Do you know what I'm saying? I guess so. But that's it, one way to look at it. But then, if your family were like, were like that about someone would you not like think oh well, if they don't like them that's that might say something I guess you wouldn't know if they actually would like you might be like oh they're just short chatting shit and then if they don't turn up on your wedding it could be like oh fuck and then you just like don't marry them maybe they're not the one for you yeah yeah but I guess with your wedding maybe you wouldn't care as much I did think about this if no one turned up because you 
you'd just be happy about like marrying the person that as cringy as it sounds like marrying the person that you want to marry rather than like how many people turn up it's less about just you like you and said exactly and also like I know that for example some people literally just want witnesses like it's just for them it's just like it's not about the it's just about like the legal sort of requirement but also you can have multiple weddings you can only have one funeral as well but this is just a wedding it's just a wedding that was I mean how many weddings yeah. you want to have? well you can have four bad you I don't know why four you can have as oh, is there a limit to how many weddings you, like on this question ask Henry the eighth six weddings yeah, six didn't he I don't think he cared how many people turned up but he, he was king bad we're not king true or queen True. So say if you're Henry VIII, yeah. yeah. Sorry, what did you say? We are queens, but not the queen. Exactly. So maybe there isn't... I, I know that there's... If you're already married, you can't marry someone else. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <It's bad. laughs> no shit. <laughs> Would you not be offended, though? Like, you're literally like... What if you thought everyone was going to turn up and they just didn't? Is that yeah, weird? yeah? If you thought everyone was going to turn up and they didn't, that'd be different. Yeah, you'd have and to... then you'd be there. We need to, we need to pick an answer. This is like we're literally telling the public right now. We're telling how to live their lives and like shit and if... what they should what they should think. We're being I'm... a bit gaffy. I'm probably going to say funeral because. A wedding you might not care as much because you're like you might just be happy about because so many people have small weddings where like they don't invite anyone they're private weddings yeah. you never know like you might you might not be that bothered if you're like getting married because you just be happy about getting married whereas if you're dead it'd be quite that's peace yeah but it's peak. <laughs> yeah i agree if no one turns up to your funeral it's more peak than if no one turns up to your wedding facts are facts that is just the our opinion let us comment below you know for the engagement if you agree with our decisions or if you think we're chatting shit put chat shit get banged if you disagree put chat shit get <laughs> i don't know just say i agree if you agree <laughs> yeah. if you don't agree, if you don't, agree. <laughs> don't give us hate but just say chat shit get banged because that's just funny um, that's our new slogan <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Jamie Vardy did say it first, but we may, we, may. Copy we, we can copy if you... To be fair, some of these are copied. Thank you if you put these on Reddit yeah. or whatever. Like, they're fully stolen, some of them. Some of them we did come up with ourselves. Some of them are fully stolen. Um, thank you, don't sue us. We are original. <laughs> we are original, I promise. Um, you had one. Um, oh, yes, I do. Right. On to the next. So this one is like... A bit gross, but then we had to throw some gross ones in there. We so, <laughs> if you get triggered by poo or piss, then please click off. Grow up. <laughs> then grow up. <laughs> or just grow up. Like, if you're gonna have kids, <laughs> can't really do gross stuff out about that. Literally, grow the fuck up. <laughs> like, we all do it. We all do it. Like, but if you're eating, you might want to stop eating. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, well, I don't think anyone's shocked. It is our podcast at the end of the day. Um, so would you rather piss glass or northerner or poo bricks? Well, <laughs> <laughs> the male G-spot is in the ass, as I sometimes say. <laughs> I don't yeah, know if it would be pleasurable. Like, what size brick like just an average brick because bricks come in different sizes sometimes my shits are the size of bricks anyway so it's not really gonna make much difference like it might be nice like if you never have diarrhea yeah that'd be quite good because that's the best kind of poo like <laughs> that's what i think but if it's but it's, it's not like a poo shaped brick it's like an actual brick mm, it'd be like giving birth uh, yeah well, it would be not quite like giving birth but how often do I I feel like I because <laughs> right <laughs> when you poo do you also piss as well like yeah. yeah so like every so I feel like I piss way more often 
Oh yeah, I think everyone does. I think so like, good. because of that, I think I'm going to say poo bricks because when I poo, I piss. Yeah. Standard. Standard. Yeah, so definitely. I think poo bricks, mm -hmm. I'd say. Peeing out glass. But yeah. that's very inconvenient. That'll be so painful as well. It'd be slashed up down there, like, because wouldn't it cut you? Yeah, but I think a brick would as well, Beth. True, but then we've got to birth out babies, not out of our ass, but like. I was going to say, Izzy, do you know how. <laughs> giving birth. That'll be our next episode. We're going to be talking about birth. <laughs> Educating Izzy. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going, <laughs> going with bricks and stuff. <laughs> Brick. It'll give me yeah. the childbirth. Yeah. Uh, give me you practice. You'll be fine by that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, definitely agree. Definitely okay. agree. Um, so my next one is very targeted, actually, because um well I'll explain why later. But um, so it's always 20 minutes late for very important meetings. Or you're always two hours early for everything else. So you can pick the time for very important meetings. Um, you're not necessarily, yeah, like you can you can pick how early or how late you go to meetings. But say say if you're meeting coffee with your friends, you you have to be two hours early. You're just waiting in that cafe for two hours. And I'm targeting this at Miss Izzy Isabel Bushell because she is notoriously late for not you're just very slow to get to places so that makes you um, late. like the only thing I'm never late for is is work because I so can't... work you'd you'd be 20 minutes late no I cannot I'd be stressed. in this situation no I think I'd have to be two hours early because I'd be stressed otherwise I think that would actually help your life if you were two it hours would. early it would because I could just like chill take time get ready it would yeah but, but on the opposite hand obviously there's only 24 hours in a day so say if you've got something oh, you'd have to get up earlier yeah and like you know be more prepared you you can fit as many things in a day because you'd have to oh no you could but you just have to do it everything earlier I guess so yeah but then that might be quite good maybe I'd get more done because I'd have to be earlier yeah in a way yeah what would yeah. you think I think same that's pretty yeah. obvious one actually. Now now that we're discussing it, like when I came up with it, I was like, oh, like I wonder what Izzy would do because she's always late, but actually it would be good. It, it's I'd, good to be early. Yeah, I'd be I'd be stressed if um yeah, the job I'm in now I'd be stressed if like if I was like really late. I'd probably, but, I'd probably lose it. Actually, on the other hand, say if you go to somewhere and it's like not open and you, you just have to stand outside like in the rain. Like that say if it's like a football match. Yeah. Can you go somewhere nearby? Well, it says you're you're just there. You're just at the place. So if the cafe is closed, you just have to wait outside, looking like a weirdo. I'll demand them to open it. All right. <laughs> no, I do think two hours early. Yeah, we, we decide. <laughs> Let's not lull on this one any longer. We've we've decided. We've we've decided. We've decided. Right, Babs. What's your next one? My next one is. Would you rather, now this one I thought was quite interesting because I feel like you could, with, I'll, I'll talk about that when we decide what we do, but would you rather know every, everything about everything in the past, so not just necessarily about your life, but like everything that's happened in the world, anything that's like unsolved or just anything, or everything that's going to happen in the future because this so, go ahead i need a bit more clarification so do we like do we not remember and like do we not know anything about the past and never will but we'll know everything about the future or will we know what i know yeah. now about the past and then everything about the future and oh, like because yeah. well, yeah. we don't know anything about the future do we no we, we know nothing so i guess yeah you'd know nothing about the past so you'd probably forget a lot of things. Yeah, and you'd forget. You'd but forget. is it about like what? So it, oh, this is deeper than I originally thought. It because, is, yeah. 
you forget like so I don't know who like my parents are or anything like that but then I guess you'd know you'd still like live with them but, so I guess you... every day it'd be like okay I know what's happening oh yeah but you know what you're happening in the future so you would sort of know yeah yeah but so like the boy if they died you'd forget you wouldn't know you'd forget about them that's interesting because you wouldn't know like you'd have only known in the future that when they were going to die so you could prepare yourself for that day and you'd be like oh yeah I don't know what I think I'd rather keep the future a mystery actually I you think I'd rather know everything me. Because and like also... go ahead also I can be like a history teacher or whatever I find everything about the past I could get paid like loads for like knowing everything about the past like knowing when the big bang was created and stuff like I could literally be paid millions of pounds if like I was the one that discovered how the big bang happened or how like earth was created so yeah definitely rather know more about the past I would go into if I knew everything about the past thinking about think about the amount of crimes you could solve because you'd know what would happen you'd know what happened to like Magnum McCann yeah definitely that's actually easy that's actually yeah. easy because like, I did it I thought about that and I was like that actually like what there's not really much you can do by knowing about the future because you can't really prevent I guess there might be things you can prevent but you can't really literally definitely there's like I mean in, you just like no like I think you'd get so paranoid and scared because you're like say if you knew like a meteorite like a meteorite could hit earth like in 20 seconds from now everyone's, terr like, everyone's terrified watching this now <laughs> right now you're dead <laughs> In 10 minutes time, you're going to die. You. Yes, you in the black top. You and should the gray, the gray, And the grey um, tracksuit bottoms. And yeah, you just did that with your hair. Yeah, you. You're going to die. Um, <laughs> in 10 minutes. No, joking. Um, yeah. You should be a reporter. Everyone's going to die. <laughs> So deal with it. Everyone's gonna die. But yeah, it's like it's sort of I don't think like knowing when you're gonna die will help. I think you'll just be more scared to like oh, you yeah. might pack more things in, but then you, you would know, like it would be I think the fun in life is that you literally don't know what's coming around the corner, like you can die at any point. I think you'd I'm appreciate you know. I'm still full of beans. I think you'd appreciate things less as well, because say if you like you'd want say if you've like you really want to like achieve something and then like you go into the future and you know it's you know you've done it I think you'd appreciate it less when you've actually done it because you wouldn't expect to have done it does that make sense yeah because you like say if like you got told like you're going to be presenting strictly in like 2030 you, yeah. you'll you're presenting strictly it won't be as exciting and like you might not work as hard for it it's like if you know you're going to be rich because your dad's rich or whatever like Paris Hilton for example like if you know that you're going to be rich because of that that you don't work as hard like no. and you become a bit bratish probably I'm not saying Paris Hilton is a brat like love you Paris Hilton please come on our podcast but it is true like if you know that you're you, you don't work as hard so yeah um yeah. you'd appreciate things less I think and you'd be scared I don't want to know what's gonna because think of what the world's like now like I don't want to know what it's like in 20 years yeah I, I like being a bit oblivious yeah. yeah, so I think we both agreed that we'd rather know about the past. Yeah, because I want to know. There are things that, like, it's imagine amount of crimes that we just don't know about. Honestly, this podcast would be so good. So no one would listen still, but... <laughs> they would. They would. They should. They fucking <laughs> should. Um, yeah, no, I think we both agreed. We both agreed. Um, yeah. We'd rather know about the um so the next my next one is um would you rather never age physically but age mentally so you could like get dementia or never age mentally so you'll you stay the same age mentally as you are now but you would age physically but you'd like never get dementia so you, you you'd still like die whenever you were meant to die but so you say if you so for, for argument's sake, you die at age 90, both cases. But in one instance, you stay looking like how you look now. Um, on the inside, I'd be like, so yeah. I'm 23 now, 
Yeah. So I would remain looking 23, but inside I'd be like 40. Yeah. I think probably, yeah, I'd stay, I'd rather age mentally. I want to stay like young. Like, you'd rather stay in a young, healthy body rather than like get physically old. But what if you like get dementia? So you can't even, so it's not like you can go, you might not even be able to go for like, because, okay, I was thinking this. I was thinking this. And I was like, oh yeah, it'd be great to like run around and like, you know, like be really healthy and stuff. But if you're like got dementia, you couldn't be able to, like, you wouldn't remember how to run and how to walk. I guess so. Thinking... So, like, even if your, like, bones are all achy and horrible, or, and it feels like it's an effort, at least you you could, but then would it be worth just sitting there knowing that you could do that? Yeah, that's the oh. thing. Yeah, I'm sticking with, I want to remain in a young body. Be a bit like being a vampire. I just don't want to get dementia bad. Yeah, but obviously that's not that's not highly like. Well, it can happen. But there's no guarantee that you'll get it. I think, but then you wouldn't know how to cook, like you or anything. You wouldn't know anything. You know, if it does happen, I'm not saying that like because with this, it's just like it's just like going to happen naturally how it will now. So you could get dementia. You, you might not. You wouldn't remember like who people are, like who you're, you could. You might like you might not remember that. So yes, you'd be sat there, but like, like you can have a wheelchair, like you can go around in a wheelchair and still like look at amazing things and like spend time with people and you'll know who they are. I guess so. Oh, I don't know. I think it's harder than originally you would think. Yeah, if it wasn't for that. So and, you, and, and that. you might not get dementia, but you might. That's the thing. You don't know. We're 50-50 on this one. If there's no dimension involved, then yeah, stay in this body. But if so, then the other way around. You'd always get ID'd as well. You would. I think I'd rather never age mentally. So you'd age physically? Yeah. Because also, if you get married and then that person ages, they will look like an aunt <laughs> for the rest of their lives. That's true. Like, I feel like it, it's good to age together physically so everyone thinks. And then, but then also, like, I get that you might, like, yeah, I think it's better to, like, but then if you ever age mentally, then you'll never, like, for example, like, I'm sure some people, when they were 23, like, who are now, like, older, probably had different views on, um, like, trans rights, gay rights, black rights um, yeah, I guess like things. you you'd be less like uh, you, would, you wouldn't be less experienced you wouldn't you know some people need to be taught stuff and your mind sometimes you need to yeah yeah and like you know you sort of age with the times as well like once things get more you know like representation is key you always hear that so once you see like those type of people on your tv screens and you know in your communities you're more likely to be like oh yeah like Oh, I understand it now. Da, da, da. So if you ever age mentally from now, you, you could become like, not become a bigot, but like there could be like stuff that progresses that we don't even think about now. Like we it doesn't those kind of things we're not even aware of that people are going through. Like um, and then we just will never understand it because we don't our brain is it's like, no, this is what you think, this is what you think. No. So on that side, but I still think I'd rather, yeah, never age mentally because I feel like I'm pretty woke. Like I feel like I'll be chill. Yeah. I'm yeah. not five. Like, I think when you're five. Yeah, depends on what age. Like, what age would you... Like, like, from now, from now. I feel like I'm pretty mentally mature, so... Mm. Yeah, I'd rather... Because, like, yeah, I don't want people to think, like, you know, the person you're dating is a nonce or whatever. Like, it's... I don't know. No, thank you. I guess so. No, I do and that. I wouldn't want to like look different to like, because then I'd be the non. Yeah. Because like, say if you get with people that look like you, right? They you would actually be seventy, and they would be I like twenty three. You just wouldn't look like it. Yeah. Yeah, but you would be the nons. You would be, yeah. So because older people wouldn't want to get with you because they'd be like, "Fuck, I'm a non." Yeah, so it could affect your like relationships and shit. So yeah. No, I do get that. 
Oh uh, yeah. So I I pick for that one. Never age mentally. What do you pick now? There's no fifty fifty. Gun to your head. Never age mentally because do I would, I'd say never age mentally only because I would only pitch pick never age physically for like looks reasons because I'd want to stay looking young. That's the literally the only reason, which isn't a valid reason really because that's just like looks based. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like everyone would want to stay looking young, but that's not going to happen. But then I think, do you though? Because like, every, if everyone around you is like aging and you're not, I don't think I that's as good yeah. as people think it is. Yeah, as much as I say that now, if it came to it, yeah, I'd probably, yeah, I know. I, know I think it's mean. only bad if you look older than you are. That's when it's only bad. Yeah. If everybody, yeah. Anyway, that's just my, that's just my opinion. That's no, just... it's a valid, no, it's a valid reason. A valid... Right, Babs, what's your next one? My next one is, let me have a look. So, so say if you're like proper famous, which you probably will be, I'm not going to lie. I think they, you're gonna be. I like I'm, Lester, I'm the Leicester legend. <laughs> Leicester VIP, Babs. <laughs> so a lot of famous people, a lot of their life is very public. Watch the Elvis film last night, was very, very good, but a lot of his okay. life was very public. Um... So say if you're on that like level, would you rather everyone knows about the financial details of your life? So exactly how much you earn, how much is in your bank account, how much your house is worth, all that stuff. So everyone knows everything about that or your love life is everyone knows everything about that. Um... So with bank, would they know like my bank details? Like, would they be able to like? <laughs> I don't really think about because it's fucking scammers. <laughs> yeah, like, would they be able to like hack my money? Um, no, we'll say no because it's more just like how much you you earn and everything like that. Okay, so it's like you know the, the BBC with like the top ten earners. They have to say because I think that came out recently. So like, did, they have yeah. to say how much like Gary and Nicole. Okay. The only thing that, it, like, say if it was only me that was doing that, then it might, you might lose, um, you might not have a job. Like, if you deep it, because say if, okay, say if I worked at, we'll just say the BBC, right, but I was the only one who everyone knew how much I was earning, then the BBC might not want me because, or no, say if I was working at ITV, or if any TV channel, there's multiple TV channels in there, so any TV channel. So if I was working there and everyone knew that I was earning a hundred thousand, then and say if they weren't prepared, to, um, say if another person came, they would be expected to pay a hundred thousand. So then the TV company might lose money if everybody has to. I mean, it'd be great because everyone would get paid the same, which like equality. Hello, hopefully for the, the same job, which is what should be happening anyway. But say if that wasn't happening and they weren't prepared to get other people up there, then people might not want me there because they're like, no, actually. Or they might pay me less than everybody else because they were like, oh, we want people to think that this is what they get. Do you know what I mean? Or like, da, 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 da. so I, it I could go against you. Do you know what I mean? Like it could like cause you to lose jobs if they were like, actually, we don't want it to be known how much you earn. Um, so it could, yeah, it literally could cause you to lose jobs. Having said that, most jobs nowadays, you can look up like, what is the average salary for this? What's the average? Like yeah, it's so only I really like YouTubers and like- Yeah, because um, they're so private about that. Not as much yeah. now. There has been some that have said, but I guess you can kind of guess because some of them will say how much they get for like a brand deal or whatever, but they are um, very private about that. And it is a bit like, you do think why, but then I do get it because I guess with the financial thing, I was thinking like, if people like, if everyone knew how much you weren't, I think maybe it would be a bit harder to like, trust people because you wouldn't know who's like after your money and all that but then it's kind of obvious if you're that famous how much how rich you are true and actually like for example for my job you can literally google how much I'm, I'm on you know like you could you literally could yeah and it will tell you like pretty much like average answer um so like and it like on job adverts it's only really when you're a youtuber and you know they always say like um like why like why are you so bothered it's because every other job you can pretty much google and it'll give you a rough estimation of how much that person earns like if i so you're like an um auto 
what was it? I forgot. Mm -hmm. Auto Q. And he said auto tuner. I was like, that's not it. <laughs> auto Q. If I Google auto Q operator, I bet like an average salary would come up. Do you know what I mean? That's like pretty yeah. close to what you earn. Like it's not exactly, but it'll be pretty close to what you earn, right? So actually, I think I'd rather people know about my financial stuff because most of it, like most, in most jobs, um, you can Google it. You can Google it now. You can Google it because, and actually, I think it's a good thing if people know how much you're earning because then it means that like you'll hopefully it will be a change so that like people get paid the same for doing the same job. So yeah. I actually think if every if cards were on the table for everything, for private sector, for public sector, I think that people, I think the world would be a fairer place. So actually, yeah, yeah, fuck mm -hmm. it. Let's change the world. Let's make it public knowledge, the salary, so then we get paid a good salary. Let's change the world, is it? Preach, preach. And like, so yeah, actually. Life. And the five is none of your fucking business, bitch. But I think, I think, Finances. I think it can be people's businesses because, especially, I work in a local government. People deserve the right to know what their council tax is going towards and how much of that is going towards it. So yeah, that's very true. And like, you might be chatting to someone who's like interested in your field of work. You and if they knew how much they earn, they could either make a decision based on that because some people have an idea in their head how much they would like. Like some people are really like, I'd love to earn lots of money. Some people are like, Oh, I'm not too fussed about earning much money. So someone like, this is what really annoys me when jobs, when you go to apply for a job and they don't put the income on there, because like, you do need to know that. Because You do. Yeah, because you need to work out whether like it's worth applying for, because it depends how much, how many outgoings you have in one, like how do you pay, how much do you pay for your house or flat or whatever. So you do need to know that stuff. So it does, it does get really frustrating when jobs don't do that. So it's. Definitely. Yeah. Whereas Love Life, that's like. A bit wrong. It's literally, it's literally like no one's business. Yeah. Like there's no like there's no reason to justify why someone would need to know who you're speaking with. Like there's literally like it doesn't matter. No. But that I think there is reasons, especially if like the public are paying for your job. Like, like I think we should all know exactly how much Boris Johnson earns every you know for what he does. And YouTubers in a sense, because by watching them we are paying them. Yeah, I think you yeah. know I think uh, I think it's actually fucked up that we don't because, um, yeah, like without a channel, like if we were monetized, I would literally say, and if anybody asked us, like say if we ever did, a, ever grew enough to a point where we were getting like monetized and um, someone asked like, how much do you earn per advert? I would literally tell you because like you, A, if you're an aspiring YouTuber, you can aspire to that point. But also I would be, we would be nowhere without fucking viewers and stuff people like watching this podcast What's so actually point? i because i saw like i love louise penman i always slag her off on this podcast i literally do i did it i was re-watching our strictly one and i literally slagged her off there but i really like her but like i did see her on good morning britain and piers morgan said about how much you, you earn and she got really like arty about it and she was like well how much do you earn and i was like actually louise like yeah to be fair piers morgan we should know exactly how much he's earning um, especially if it's like at the BBC or whatever, and because like he'd be nowhere without the viewers. But equally, Louise, you'd be nowhere without the viewers. Uh, yeah. So, and also, and I can like literally, as I was saying earlier, if I want to know how much a nurse makes on average, I can Google it. I can literally Google it. Yeah, most jobs you can just do that. Yeah. And YouTube's oh, you YouTube's the one job where you can't Google it. Like. Yeah, or you don't know exactly. And actually, like you'd be literally nowhere without your fans. So. I think influencers should, I think, like, you know, people that have been on the, if I went on the island, not that I ever would, um, because where, where them gays at, um, then I would literally say, like, I got X amount for this pretty little thing deal, I got Y amount for I saw it first deal, and this is, on average, how much I earn on a yeah. monthly basis, doing what I do, because thank you. I would be not getting these brand deals if I didn't have the Instagram followers. So thank you so much. I think people need to be humbled a bit and people need to realise like, but I get like it is competition. Like you could like potentially not get a deal if everybody knew. But I think hopefully it would indict change that meant that everyone would do it anyway. Yeah. I got so political. I did not expect that. No, but it's an interesting one because it's like, there's a lot of people that are very, very secretive. Yeah. About this kind of thing. Um, that everyone should get the same surely like it's just like 
not just like normal human being, not logic, that if you're doing the exact same job as somebody else, you should get paid the same. Yeah. But I don't think that's too controversial. I don't think that's too no, like, that is, um, exactly. it's a less idea. Like I know it's fully like a bit communist even, but I think if people get these, uh, doing the exact same job, they should be paid the exact same amount of money, no matter what company. Um, I think if you're a store worker in Primark or a store worker in H&M, you should be paid the exact same amount. Preach. Preach. Other shops are available. Zara, Louis Vuitton, you should be paid the exact amount because you're doing the exact, you're turning up. If you do the exact same hours, the exact same job, yeah. Yeah. Single skill. Um, Okay, got like just wanted to dismantle. <laughs> so we're both going with the money one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why that got so political, but no, no, no. I to totally get why because it's. I think it's not talked about enough. Yeah, yeah. Um. So let's move on now. We've discussed that one. Um. We both know what we're doing. Um. So my next one. Oh, this is quite a juicy one actually. I think you'll like it. Um. So. Would you rather, on one hand, be on death row for a crime you didn't commit and your mum or, like, your loved one is free but they committed the crime, or your mum, loved one, whoever, is on death row for a crime that you committed? Does so that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Death row is where that's the death penalty, isn't it? Yeah, so you're going to die for either a crime that you didn't commit but your loved one committed it. So you're, you're basically dying for your loved one yeah um or would you rather your mum die for something that you did no no i'd rather die but you didn't commit the crime Bab. Yeah, your mum committed the crime yeah, but i don't want my mum to die oh <laughs> <laughs> my mum can fucking die <laughs> I'm joking. she watches this but... she watches this as well <laughs> <laughs> no I'm joking I'm joking um it's so hard because like I just believe in justice so like you'd want the person to commit the crime to get the pe obviously not die but you'd want the person to but in both cases it wouldn't be justice at all it'd be like that's the thing because I'd be I mean no, I can't see that. <laughs> Arguably, they've had their life. I guess no. so. I guess so. I know what you mean. <laughs> are we going to get cancelled? We don't see. <laughs> if our parents are watching this, it's just... It's hypothetical. Yeah. It's not going to happen. True. But... I'd be so pissed if I died for something I didn't do. <laughs> and then well, no I'd, actually be, I'd actually haunt you all. And no one turns up to your funeral. <laughs> Literally. Fucking hell. Oh. Oh. It would be so... But then, like, I, it's just like, basically, could you live with that guilty conscience? I couldn't, actually. They, they'd have to live with the guilty conscience. They yeah. would have to live with that. Like, like, you would be the victim. And I love playing the victim. So if I am the victim, then yeah, actually, I'd rather die to make them cunts like fucking who set me up to like kill the guilty conscience. Yeah, because yeah. like if I'm dead, I'm dead. But there's not much I can do about it. Like yeah, of course it's inconvenient, okay. but <laughs> it's a bit a bit peak. Yeah, yeah. I, actually, I was asking this to you. I don't know why I went to it. What do you think? Yeah, no, I'd rather die. Yeah, I think I would. I don't want to live with the guilt knowing that. It'd be, I think you'd end up like killing yourself anyway with the girl. Yeah, so then you're both dead, so that's even more peak. Yeah. So you don't want that? Nah, but then your mum might kill herself with the girl. That's not then you both dead. I can't really do anything about that, I'm dead. So. Yeah, fair. That's fair, <laughs> right. You've got two for me now. So, Ooh. send them my way, Babs. Are you ready? I am, I was born ready. <laughs> this is an interesting one. Um, so you're stuck on an island, no phone. Um, yeah, you're stuck. So would you rather be stuck there with someone that you hate intensely, like can't stand to be around, or 
on your own. So it's either one or the other. That was actually really interesting because I don't hate that many people. Like, I think, so I'm imagining like Donald Trump. Oh, yeah. It's like he's the person that, like, I'd say I'd, I actually hate. But if I hate um, them that much, I would just kill them and eat them. If I hate them that much. <laughs> to survive. So we're, so we're cannibals now, Babs. <laughs> you can survive on the coconuts, Babs. Yeah, but if you have no food. And you have okay, to... so do we have no food now? Yeah. No, actually, that's perfect. Yeah, let's not be psychos. Let's put food into okay, the... so There's food. <laughs> But there's like no way out. But like, say you get food delivered to this island, but you just can't leave, um, and you just can't speak to anyone. I mean, I'd say I like the company, but he'd go mad, wouldn't you? But then you could, you could grow to like them, spending that much time with them. But Donald Trump, like, that's what I mean. Like, if it's just someone that you have like a stupid like row over, you probably are quite alike, and it's just like you know some petty drama. Like, say if like. They step with your best friend. You could get over it if you're on a desert island, right? Yeah. But Donald Trump, like, is someone that's got to be so ideology, ideology. I shouldn't say fucking hard words. Ideal, ideologically different with. Yeah. Like someone that you're so opposite to, you just will never get along. Because like, if it's like, so most people's like worst enemies is like probably like someone that like cheated on them or like whatever. But if it's just you two, all that outside drama, it actually like. Because on Love Island, like, so many couples, like, flourish, but then it's the outside world when other people interfere. So you'd never have that. It'd just be you two. So you probably would get on with, like, your worst enemy because, actually, for you to hate someone so bad, you must see, like, a bit of yourself in that, in a bit of yourself in them that you don't like. Yeah. And you say, like, get your, if they has, like, step in your toe. But for me, it's, it'd be, like, Donald Trump or someone like that. And I just can't imagine me ever getting along with Donald Trump. No. Mm. So, I think, no, but I, no, I'm so needy, yeah, uh, yeah, worst enemy, I'm just too needy, the more, I was trying to, I was trying to convince myself that I wouldn't need to be Donald, I'm not as needy that I would need, like, Donald Trump for company, but I genuinely would, I'm so and needy. The arguments would keep you, like, occupied, so even if you just argued with him the whole time, you'd be, like, you'd have something to do. Yeah. And you could like hunt together, like everything would be easy with like another pair of hands. Or you know just I mean? kill them and eat them. <laughs> Fucking cannibal. But then you'd be on your own anyway. Oh yeah, so you'd just be on your own anyway. Yeah. I so, wouldn't kill them and eat them, is it? I wouldn't either. But like <laughs> that's only if there was like no food in your hat. That's another would you rather. That's for another episode. <laughs> yeah, that's another one, Babs. That's another one. Fucking hell. Right. What's, what's your next one? So I think we'd rather have a person, right? Yeah. Yeah. Decided. Lose all the money that you've earned or lose all the memories. And are we strictly talking this year? Or do you mean... Yeah, I think it's like this year. This year. So this year, lose all the, mo- all the memories you've made this year or lose all the money that you've earned. I'm trying to think if I've like met anyone like really significant because if you've met someone within this last year then you will have no memory of ever meeting them so that would be really weird but if you've like like for example I've met like I feel like it wouldn't matter too much um like this last year from what we've done because I've already like gained like our friendship before this last year Mm. for example as an example but um money I feel like it's just a saying if it's not a saying then I'm gonna make it I feel like money can be re-earned like you can regain that money memories can't be regained so yeah I think that's quite an easy one actually I'd rather lose all the money lose all the money you can you can earn back the money exactly you can't make memories again yeah like because if you think like like, big weekend I wouldn't want to like lose the memories of all that yeah like all the fun stuff Harry Styles, um, Harvey, yeah, Little Mick, and you learn things from memories. You do. You grow, like from your memories and stuff. Like you grow to be the person who you are. Like really, from money. Like yeah, I'd rather yeah lose money can be re-earned. You can you can like you know if you're like in yeah money can be re-earned. 
It can. Memories can't. So that is a good answer. That's quite a decisive one. Yeah, that's quite decisive. If you made it through that, congratulations. Yeah, if you're still watching. If yeah. you're still watching. Yeah. So it's like raw one we've done. If you enjoyed it, let us know. Um, if you want us to do more Would You Rathers, then um, yeah, comment below and let us know. We like we love that engagement. <laughs> Thank you all for watching and join us next week. We'll be back at the same time, 6 p.m. on Friday. See you. Bye. <laughs>